Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark. In this video, we're going to show you how you can allow your Learn Dash group leaders to add and edit H5P activities. Now, in case you're not aware, H5P is a free platform that you can use to create interactive activities that work really well in Learn Dash courses. So you can create things like crosswords and uh, fill the gap exercises and things like that um, and embed them into your Learn Dash courses. And by default, it's mainly users with an editor level or above that can actually create content for H5P. So once you've installed the H5P plugin, what you might find is that if you are logged in as a group leader, you see the option for it. But when you go to edit something it, and add something new, it will say you're not allowed to access this page because the group leader role doesn't actually have access to do that yet. And that's what we're going to show you now. So we're going to show you how you can modify roles and allow them to do extra things in your LearnDash platform. So what we're going to do is head back to our admin dashboard here and install a plugin. So we'll go to plugins and then add new. And what we're going to do is search for user role editor. And there are a few options here and they're all quite popular and all quite well rated and also all relatively well kept up to date. But what I'm going to do is install the most popular one here, which has 700,000 plus active installations. It's been updated two days ago and it's got four and a half stars. So I'm just going to install that now by clicking this button. And once it's installed, I'll activate it. Once it's activated, you will get some options in the settings area here, but the main bulk of the plugins functionality is now in the users menu. So this is where you would normally add new users and edit users. But what we'll find in here is there's this new role, user role editor option here. At the top, what we can do is choose the role that we want to edit. And when you install WordPress by default, you'll tend to get these editor, author, contributor, subscriber. But when you install LearnDash, for example, you'll get this group leader role. And if you have other plugins like WooCommerce installed, you'll get other things like customer and shop manager and things like that. So depending on the plugins that you've got installed on your platform, you might have more roles within this. But we're going to edit the group leader role. So what I'm going to do is select that one and it will switch to that. And in this box below, what we can see is the options that the group leader is given access to out of the box. So we can see that there isn't that many, uh, which is for good reason. We don't really want the group leader to be doing that much on our platform, but uh, this allows us to tweak that. So what we're going to do is search for the ones that relate to H5P, and I'm going to you know, filter these down just by searching for H5P there. And what we can see here are some capabilities that we can add to the group leader role, such as edit H5P contents, edit other people's H5P contents, if we want to allow them to edit others as well as their own. Install recommended H5P libraries, we can leave that installed or not, and manage H5P libraries. I mean, just for this demo, I might tick those uh, as well. Now we can click update and we'll click yes when it asks for confirmation. And now we've updated the group leader role and we've added these extra capabilities to it. So what we can do is switch now back to the group leader role, which I'm logged in as in another tab here. And if we refresh the page, what we find is that we now have access to H5P content. And what we find is that we can add new and we'll have the option as a group leader to create our own H5P activities. So if I wanted to create a filler blanks exercise, I can install it and use it. And now I can create my own activity here. So now we've allowed the group leader role to add and edit H5P content on your LearnDash platform. But as I mentioned earlier, this plugin 
can do a lot more than that. So if I head back to the admin area here and go to the user role editor, back to group leader, you'll see in here, most plugins have their own capabilities and you can go in and, you know, add capabilities that relate to things like WooCommerce and anything you know, like that. So it's a very powerful plugin is this user role editor, obviously one that you should use uh, with, with caution because you don't want to give group leaders access to something they shouldn't have, but it's a, yeah, a useful tool that you can um, enable certain features depending on how you want to set up your platform. We hope you find this video useful and if you did, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this where we give tips for using LearnDash, please subscribe to the Training Spark YouTube channel.